everyone, today I'm going to be doing a cheap and easy Valentine's Day tutorial. I will be also reviewing these products at the same time. It is the Aldi range called La Cura Beauty. It ranges from about $4 down to $20. I have a few range of products. Don't have the whole collection because I just couldn't get my hands on all of it. But I do have quite a few and I will be reviewing them during the video and at the end as well as an overall review but it's also a easy tutorial for a valentine's look quite soft looking with a little bit of smoke but if you guys are keen to hear a review on the curl beauty from aldi and to see how i achieve this look just stay tuned and let's get to it Okay, so for my first Audi product, it is the foundation and the foundation concealer brush duo ended. They are both by the same brand, Le Cura Beauty, and I think the foundation was about $6 and the brush was about $20. So I got this in the shade beige and it is SPF 15 in it and it has 50 mils in it. Okay, so I'll take the brush out. My first time taking it out. I've been saving it for this video. Okay, so that's what the brush looks like. That's the foundation side and that's the concealer side. The concealer side looks a little... Don't know about that, but I'm going to give it a whirl. Oh, shit. They came out a lot more than what I expected. Oh yeah, I think that's a pretty good colour. I'm generally a beige nude, nude colour. It smells like baby powder. What the hell? Okay. I'm not one for flat foundation brushes. But I'll try my best with this one. And the colour is a shade darker than what I thought actually. So just blend it down the neck. Oh, I really hate the smell. It's overpowering. Where I dabbed it before it's like dried on like a face mask. Oh girl, I don't know about this. I think the brush would work a lot better with a more liquidy foundation because this is actually quite thick. A lot thicker than what I thought it was going to be. Okay, so I've done what I can with the brush. I need to smooth it out with my wet beauty blender. Oh yeah, it definitely works better with a wet beauty blender. Where before it just looks like a mask sitting on top of your skin. Now it just looks like it's actually, you know, becoming one with your skin. The colour is definitely a shade too dark, I think. Yeah. It does match more to my chest than it looks like on camera. But definitely. And it's already quite patchy. Just adding sunk into some of my pores and my nose. Already not loving it. Okay, so far I am not loving this foundation. Like it feels like a face mask. Like, and it smells like baby powder. Ugh, I mean, okay, I'm just going to color correct with my NYX like normal. And I couldn't find a concealer, so I'm just going to use my usual Kat Von D, and hopefully this will lighten things up a bit. I'm going to use that concealer brush. I'm just going to do some highlighting. Because your girl feels way out of balance with this freaking foundation on. Alright, I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender as well. Concealer has made my life so much more better now. Okay, so I'm just gonna bake with my Espan by Cotty. 
with my real techniques. Just because you don't want to crease when you're on a nice Valentine's Day date. Okay, so now that my face is baked, I'm just going to sweep it off with a big fluffy brush. Okay, so to set the rest of my face, I also got the Lacura Beauty 24 hour setting powder. It's translucent and it includes a mirror. So let's open it up. And I think this was about $5 as well. So that's what the packaging looks like. Comes with a sponge. It's got a mirror and it's a little compact. It doesn't look tr totally translucent to me. So hopefully it's not going to affect the color any. I'm gonna grab that big fluffy brush again and I'll just set the rest of my foundation. This isn't too bad actually. Seems to be half decent. And I've already worn off the Lacura label that was in in it. Okay, yeah. I don't mind that. The powder's actually not too bad. It's set quite it's done quite well for something that's five bucks. Okay, so I'm just going to bronze and contour like usual. I'm going to use my Chi Chi Jumbo bronzer. And I'm going to contour with my Kat Von D contouring kit. And I'm just going to use this cool tone colour here down the bottom. And that is called Subconscious. And for blush, I'm going to use my NYX brush, and this is in the shade Dusty Rose. Okay, so next I'm going to use the Lacura Beauty Eyebrow Kit. I'm quite excited about this, I have high hopes, so I hope it's great. This is what it looks like inside. There are all your colours here with the highlights at the top. Got the brush tweezers. And there's a spoolie, tweezers, brush, and some eyebrow stencils. And here's instructions on the side there. Okay, so I'm just going to grab out the spoolie. I'm going to spoolie my eyebrows. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the wax on my finger. Just put it on my brows. Just to hold them in place and also to help the colour stick since this is a powder. I'm going to grab that little brush. I'm going to grab the first colour here. And this one is called Brow Powder Light. Okay, so I've just filled that in with the front of my brows. And for the rest, I'm just going to combine these last two colours. And that is medium and dark. So I'm just grabbing the medium colour first. That one is really pigmented, much more compared to the light one. Okay, I'm just going to grab some of that dark colour just for the tail. Okay. It's actually not too bad. Those two dark colours are really good. What I will say, that medium colour is definitely has a ready tone to it, but it is workable if you use the medium and the dark colour together. Just going to grab this flat diviner brush from Sigma. I'm going to grab this highlighter colour in the middle from the palette. I'm going to put that on my brow bone. That is really pretty as well. And then I'm just going to grab my highlighting brush. And I'm just going to grab my tapered highlighting brush. I'm going to grab this next highlighter colour at the end here. I'm going to use that to highlight my cheekbones. It's a very subdued colour. I might try mixing in that other highlighter colour 
and see if I can get a bit more of a bang look. Oh yeah, the middle highlighter is actually really beautiful. And that is brows. I actually really like this eyebrow kit. Really like it. It would be great for traveling or even doing a few clients. Okay, so next I'm going to, my eyes, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Potion Primer as per usual. Okay, so the next thing I got from Lacura Beauty is their eyeshadow palette. This is a very mauve purple eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like and it is called Stepping Out Eyeshadow Palette. And there are the colours and a nice big mirror and all the colours are shimmery. So to start off with I'm going to grab this one here in the middle. It's a kind of pinky kind of subdued colour. I'm going to use that for my crease. A lot of fallout with these. Okay, so the next colour I'm going to grab is this one here. P pure purple colour. There is so much fallout and drag it along my crease. The pigmentation's okay. And I'm just blending those colors together in the crease. And next I'm going to grab the purple blue color. It's very much so a royal purple. I'm just going to deepen up that corner. And see, I'm only doing little Vs. Like I said, the pigmentation is okay, but the colour payoff, once you blend it, it actually is disappearing before my eyes. Quite vexing a little bit. I'm just going to grab this pure white colour here. I'm going to put that over the rest of my eyelid in the inner corner, just to lighten it up a bit. And that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, so to lighten that part up, I have to really pack on the colour on my brush. Just going to grab the excess of that royal purple blue colour. I'm going to drag that along my lash line just to smoke it out a bit. Okay guys, so my camera died, so I just finished it off with mascara and eyeliner. Just used my normal eyeliner by Maybelline Hyper Sharp, and I used my Revlon mascara as well. Basically the same as usual. Okay, so for the last step, lipstick. This is the Lacroix Beauty lipstick. It has intensive colour and shine with vitamin E. And I got it in the shade 79 Toffee. This was about $5. So I'm hoping it's going to be pretty good. Okay, so that's what it looks like there. It's a very nerdy colour. I wanted to go for a safe colour. There we go, that's that lip colour. It basically looks like my shade, my actual lip colour. And there we go guys, that is the end look. Hope you guys enjoyed this cheap and easy valentine's day tutorial and also review of aldi products in australia i really recommend the eyebrow palette i thought that was the best out of everything i got that, that and the compact powder i thought that was also really good and that's pretty good for its price i think this was about five dollars the eyebrow palette i think was about 15 so it's a little bit more pricier but i think it's actually quite good for a drugstore product from Aldi. Don't really recommend the foundation. Foundation felt like face marks going on, smelled like baby powder, and the color wasn't as great as what I thought it would be. It actually came across really darker, and beige normally is something that is always my color. But I did make it work, and it worked. Next would be the eyeshadow palette. It was all right, like it's an okay palette, so it's definitely, if you think about buying it, buy it. It's only like, I think it was $15 or $20. But you can always find something in Maybelline or Revlon that's basically the same price and you'll get better pigmentation. The foundation brush, it was okay. I think I need to use it on other products to actually get a proper feel for it. Otherwise, overall, I think it was all really great to t try out because of the price ranges. And Aldi is really cheap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cheap Valentine's Day look. 
with Aldi products. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more videos from me. Bye!